This is the preparation video uh, for long, long ago, Allegro and Perpetual Motion. You wanna be working on all these preparations right now at the same time. I would do them at least 10 times a day, 20 is better, but really try to do these daily. Long, long ago, the preparation is we are going to, uh, can we get to a good spot? We're gonna hop our first finger. We did this with third finger in Song of the Wind. We pick, we're on one on the D string, which is an E. We hop over to one on the G string. So after G in your musical alphabet comes A. So first finger on the G string is an A. It's a whole step from G to, G to A. We swing both elbows. So we want to make sure we swing both, get both elbow swings in there. And we can't see that. Let's try this. Here we go. So you want to try doing that. Then we're going to add one more note to that. Three on the D string. So make sure three goes down and then one lift. So the preparation is going to be the... Then you also want to play your pieces on the D and the A string. So you can drop all the pieces that you know down a string so that you get used to playing on the, I sorry, I said D and A, it should be G and D. So we can play like, um. so you just get used to where is that G string at. We're gonna do our elbow swings. We did that in the other video too. We're gonna swing our elbows. You know you've swung your elbow enough till you're straight, your fingers are straight over the G string or your bow's straight solid on the G string. That is the preparations for long, long ago. For Allegro, this fingering preparation is super duper important. We play one on the A string, high two on the A string, C sharp. We place our third finger, by the way, or one stay down. We place three, then lift up two. Lift up three and go back to one. So it's gonna be B, C sharp, D, B. Keep B down the whole time. So finding the timing of popping that two is really important. Making sure the third finger is tight enough to tune in tune is very important. So that is the next preparation for Allegro. B, C sharp, D, B, when you put down the D, make sure the D is down and pop up the C sharp. Keep the B down the whole time. And you want to review from Go Tell It Roadie. One D, one place to lift one D. Then we want to think about our detache bowing which you learned. You also learned staccato in the Mrs. Twinkle Stop Stop. That's your stoppy bow. And then we have legato. So Allegro is going to use staccato. Detache. Staccato. Staccato. Detache. Staccato. Detache. Staccato. Staccato. Detache. Then we have a more legato. So you want to think about those different bow strokes. And for perpetual motion, we have one preparation. So we start on second finger on the D string, F sharp. Keep it down, keep the two down, play third finger G. Place four, then pop up three. Then lift up four. Sometimes it's very hard for people to lift up that third finger. If that is the case for you, place the four, reach over, lift up the three, then lift up the four. 
Um, I had one student that had to do that for months till she could get that third finger to move. Some people it moves right away and really easily. It's a very important skill to have. If you don't develop that skill, it will cause you problems later. So good luck with your preparations for long, long ago, Allegro and perpetual motion. And it's fine if you just remember what they are and write them down or something so you don't have to keep coming back to the video. Bye-bye.